Hello community! Today we're gonna have a look at ChatGPT4 and we will upload some readme files, some Python files, we will upload PDF files and some visual information and we will have a look how ChatGPT4 is able to cope with this. So let's start! So I've uploaded here some files, some readme file from a GitHub repo then some Python files from the GitHub repo about PEFT. Then I have here two PDF files from my lectures here on memory GPT and on PEFT versus REC. And this is about 200 pages in those PDF. And I say, hey, read the PDF files, summarize the contents. And if the files are thematically related, tell me on what topic. So let's see in real time how long it takes to something to happen here. I'm really interested in this performance. So we are 25% in. Syncing, chat GPT-4 is syncing. Please notice that it is not GPT-4, but now it is chat GPT-4. So it underlines here the chat functionalities of GPT, the new GPT-4, the GPT-4 Turbo. Isn't that beautiful? And done. Beautiful. I have successfully accessed and read the content to PDFs. Yes, read me. Yeah, we proceed and summarize the content. I will start by summarizing PDF. I'll summarize this. Contains descriptive information about the code of the project. Yes, I'll begin with the summaries of the PDF documents. So you see just six files, but he, she, it is doing it. A summary of the PDF appeared to focus on advanced topics in artificial intelligence. Yes, of course, it is me. Oh, here we are. Concept as an operating system. Yes, a challenging of maintaining context in perpetual chat systems. Yes, mention of memory management, interest handle, and store information. Okay, PEF versus REC, retrieval augmented generation parameter efficient tuning with low rank adaptation in the context of LLM, performing cosine similarity, yes. Thematically related, yes, that's good. Now summarize the readme files. Strong thematic connections about enforcing LLMs into efficient adaptation, yes. We have here part of the Hugging Face repo of parameter efficient fine tuning PEF, yes. Uh, bits and bytes, uh, dealing with bits and bytes in relation to path method, a linear 8-bit linearization, yes, beautiful. Then the layer Python file, code related to the lower layer, a technique for efficient adaptation in language models, enhancing and fine-tuning LLMs found in the PDF and readme, yes. Various import statements and functions seem to be related to the structure and optimization of LLMs, further underscoring the focus on efficient model adaptation and fine-tuning. Absolutely correct. All files are thematically related and revolve around advanced topic in artificial intelligence, specifically focusing on enhancement, memory management, and efficient fine-tuning of LLM. This is great. Is it helpful? Yes, helpful. Thank you. Thanks for the feedback. So I say, hey, explain in detail path versus REC and explain what we learn that is above non-standard knowledge. Okay, here we go. Parameter efficient fine tuning, retrieval augmented generation. Yeah. Combining here PEFT and REC. Yes. Cost effectiveness, scalability. Yes. Application and dynamic information environments. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Also discussed the challenge implementing this as a system about the complexity and integrating external knowledge bases with LLMs. Yes. Accuracy and relevancy, absolutely, this is what it is. An innovative approach to LLM enhancement by combining efficient fine-tuning techniques with external knowledge retrieval. Yes, this is the content of my video. Beautiful. So if you want to go there, this is the video that is just summarized. Next is say, hey, look at the code in the Python files and tell me how to code the main lower layers. So, Laura, lowering adaptation, path, yes. Information is explain how one might implement the main layer in Python, yes. 
So, hey, I couldn't rate this. Hey, wait. Okay, we just let it finish and then we go back. So you see, code generating is a little bit slower than text. Okay. Okay, so let's go back. What did it? Basic concept of LoRa in a PyTorch model, define the LoRa layer. Yeah, two low rank matrices A and B. For each original weight matrix W, yes. The original weight matrix W0 is not trained during the fine tone, it is frozen. Instead, the product of matrix A and matrix B is used to update the output. Correct. Identify the layers you want to apply LoRa. Correct. These are linear layers. Yes. With your LoRa augmented layers. Yes. Replace or augment. Yeah, fine tuning. Only A and B are trained while W remains frozen. Yes, this is the main function here of parameter efficient fine tuning. The efficient weight used during the forward pause is here exactly our delta W. The implementation here, the original weight. Yeah, the rank. Yes, okay. Initialize here our A and B. Yes, and then we have the forward pause. Okay. You have to be careful, careful insertion of this layer into the model and that the code is a simplified example. You need to integrate these layers into an existing of a large model, managing device placement, CPU, GPU. Exactly. Uh, okay, so I say, okay, is there anything you know about GPU optimization in this topic with Laura? Memory footprint reducement, yes. Batch size optimization, yes. Mixed precision training, yes. Parallelism, yes, absolutely. Model parallelism, okay. 3D, yeah. Autograd optimization, okay. Bike torch autograd system integrates a computational graph, beautiful. Optimize the CUDA kernels, libraries, memory bandwidth transfer, data transfer is costly in terms, yes. Okay, loading here, memory bandwidth. Yeah, that sounds good to me. What is profile-driven optimization? Ah, okay. NVIDIA Insights optimization here of lore specific. Yeah, okay, okay. Now it gets interesting. The lowering and, yeah, sparse matrices. Okay, GPU minimal overhead compared. Okay, so I think it extracted where did we start it here a lot of information so we check this we know that it can write code read me so there you have it a very short overview what files it can read i found no limitations that far i even uploaded here a complete zipped github repo with hundreds of files it could unzip everything do here the code manipulation so there are limitations of the new GPT-4 Turbo, but it is a significant step forward. And in my next video, we will have a look here at the next feature of GPT-4 Turbo, data analysis.